Hey everybody, how is it going? It is your pal, Sal here. Welcome back to my channel, and I guess, you know, weirdly enough, I feel like I should have started off my video with going, hello? But that just, it didn't, it didn't feel quite right to me in that moment. Um, but hi again, everybody, how's it going? Um, today is a very, very big day. Miss, Miss Iconic Adele has just dropped her fourth studio album, 30. And uh, I couldn't be more excited to be here with you guys on this channel to react to this full album. Uh, I, uh, where should I even begin? So it has been since 2015 since Adele has graced us with her presence. And a few, like, what is it, like two months ago now? When did it come out? October 15th. Okay, so just literally a month ago. Adele released the first lead single of this album, Easy On Me, which we have reacted to on this channel. And I'd say, uh, you know, just having Adele back in the music industry um, after, you know, we have just non-vocalists in it anymore... Uh, it's amazing to have her back, to have somebody, you know, be at the top of the charts who can sing. I, it's, it's astounding to me. Um, I'm excited to be here for this album. This is the first Adele album I've actually ever listened to in full. I don't really have an explanation as to why I have not ever listened to an Adele album in full, but, um... We're here now. I guess that's all that truly matters. Uh, and I couldn't be more excited to be here. As we said, there was one lead single for this album, Easy On Me. And there is going to be a second single. It does not have a release date yet. But that song will be called I Drink Wine. So, uh, there's that. And, uh, you know, going into this album, I mean, Adele was very clear in the interview of what it was going to be about. Divorce, baby, divorce. <laughs> baby, divorce. And that's what this is going to be. So, I feel, you know, there's a song on here um, called Cry Your Heart Out, which... Not, again, not heard it yet, but I'm like, I think that's going to be the, the memo of this album. So uh, I'm excited to listen to this with you guys. I think the best thing to do is to get started with track number one, which is called Strangers by Nature. So without further ado, we begin the journey of 30. Let's do it. I'll be taking flowers to the cemetery of my heart. Oh, the cemetery of her heart. Oh, no. She sounds so cool, different right here. I love it. Wow. Yes. I love how that, like, it sounds like so, it almost, the sound quality sounds really dirty right there, but I love it. Dirty is maybe not even the right word, but, um, muffled or, like, low quality, if you will. This is gonna transition into easy on me really nice. Nice. Wait, what did she say? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. She's, she's ready, I think she said. Hang on. I mean, let's see her. Alright, then I'm ready? Alright. I want to hear this transition real quick before I talk about this song. Oh, so it doesn't really transition. Oh, that would have been cooler, though, if they had a little less space there. Um, okay, okay. Regardless, okay. So that was track number one, Strangers of My Nature. And uh, so far... What a, you know, I kind of wish that this had been labeled as an intro. I mean, it is the first song of the album, so it is an intro, but I really do wish that she had, like, written on the parentheses on the side, Strangers by Nature, intro. Um, it's really interesting. She talks about leaving flowers at the grave of her heart. Um, I, 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 you know, even though I've not had a significant other, I feel that in a weird sense. Um, what gets me about this song, though, is just how experimental it is. Like, the first half feels very different from the second half, and... The, the weird, the, the, whatever they were using at the end, I don't know what she was using to, you know, use on her um, voice, but it sounded like a very low quality microphone. I don't know if they had a nice quality and then made it sound, you know, not as good. Um, but it was interesting because I feel like it was all part of that. It feels like, I feel like this song is going to um, capture almost everything that this album is about. Um, but that was interesting. Um, 
It's definitely an intro for sure. I don't know if this is gonna, we'll see how, you know, time will tell. Uh, but uh, if it works on its own, you know, not listening to the album as a, as a, as a piece. Um, but I did really like it as an intro personally, probably for me and how I have it imported into my iTunes because I did purchase the Target exclusive CD and the vinyl, the Walmart vinyl. Um, I'll probably in my own personal little collection label it as the intro, but that's beside the point. So I did like it, an interesting start so far. Track number two, we have the lead single, the number one hit single, um, a number one record. Not everybody has that. Easy on me. Let's do it. Go easy on me, baby. I was still a child. Love it. Like I said when this song came out, just what a, what a, not what I thought that the lead single was going to be for this era. I mean, you know, with the last album we had Hello, which is just like, it's something on such a different level from Easy On Me. Um, Hello is on level 20 million and five, and I feel like Easy On Me is on level like 100 in terms of Adele. Uh, it's a much calmer, more reflective, uh, much more uh, time consuming isn't the right word but it takes its time with getting the song and its message out um i think it's such a beautiful piece i every time it comes on the radio i'm like now that's that's nice to hear on the radio you know what i mean um so good i know it already broke i think not i don't know if it was the video that broke the record on the day of release or the song itself i'm not really too sure about that um but just honestly such a nice sweet song um and, you know, it's funny, there was that recent Adele, like, one night only concert that, like, aired on TV and then I think aired on Paramount Plus, uh, where you hear her singing this live for the first time, and just how amazing it sounds. Um, like, the growls in her voice, the realness of it. Um, I remember some TikToker was, uh, and I hate the fact that I spend, uh, I, it's sad, but, you know, Adele, I forgot, like, the part of the song, but where she gets, like, her little growl out in the live one, and someone was like, uh, please don't ever do that again, Adele, it sounded horrible. And I'm like, bro, that sounds, like, real. That sounds like what it's supposed to sound like live. Um, real and raw. Uh, most people today listening to music wouldn't know that. So uh, there's that. But um, Easy On Me is such a beautiful song. And I love hearing it every time it comes on. Track number three is called My Little Love. And I'm assuming this is one of the songs that's baby. Baby. Divorce baby. But this is just baby. All right. Here we go. Um, My Little Love. Oh. So it kind of makes this blue cover about the ocean make sense with the album. Oh, wow. Um, guessing that's her son. Wow. Anxious day. 
I find it interesting that she just recorded all this. Um, on her phone, probably. It's interesting. Since I left him, I feel lonely. And I never feel lonely. I love being on my own. Amen. I always prefer being on my own and being with people. I don't feel like maybe I've been like overcompensating. Whoa. Guys, I don't even know where to begin with this. Um, this song was like everything. And it, it did so much to me. Like the energy that I feel like I came went in it with was depleted by the end of it. Like it took everything I had in me to listen to this song. Like in a good way, not like, oh my God, it was a slog to get through, but like every ounce of like hope, love, fe everything inside of me just feels depleted after listening to this. Um, so this is actually a, a divorce baby divorce song. Um, so she's talking, I mean, oh wow. Wow. Uh, I, I mean, God, I'm, I'm just like losing my train of thought. I mean, this song felt like a movie. Like it felt like it had a, well, it almost even felt like a two act musical. Like it had a first act intermission, second act. Um, the, the recordings of Adele talking to her son are just gorgeous. And that one where I'm assuming, like, what I'm wondering is, like, when she, like, recorded some of these things, like, that one, I'm assuming, like, maybe she, like, recorded a video to send to her friend just to tell her how she was feeling. Because I understand that because I hate texting. So sometimes I'm like, let me just make a quick little video, send it off, shoom. Um, and then she was able to use it for her album, um, which I think is cool. Um, and I think she's, in the song, she's talking about the joy that her son brings her and, like, how much she does love her son. And because of the fact that even though she's going to, through a divorce, she's always going to love her ex-husband because that's her, his dad. Um, but being a mom and being happy with your son doesn't uh, solve all of life's problems. You know what I mean? Uh, I especially think about, like, I, when my, I used to view my parents, um, I thought their lives were perfect. And, you know, when you get older, you realize, uh, no, no, it's not. Um... This song was everything. It was everything and more, and that deserves a Grammy in itself, this song. I'm, um, that was, a, uh, uh, yeah. Wow. Damn. That deserves to be a movie. It really does. Um, and to think that it's six minutes and 30 seconds, and it did not feel like that to me. It felt like I was invested every second of the song. So, amen. Track number four, Cry Your Heart Out. Now this I'm excited to hear. I like the title. Not how I thought this was going to go. <laughs> okay. Got a nice little pulse.
Okay, I'm gonna be honest, this is technically my least favorite track so far. Again, we're only five tracks in, so that, or you know, four, four. So that doesn't really say too much. Um, what I did like were the um, Andrew sister-y, like, ro like almost robotic sound, like Andrew sisters, but robots things that was happening. Um, I liked that, where is it? I'm trying to find it. Um, Right here. Like, this stuff I liked. I thought it was fun, and I liked the pulse of the song, uh, but everything in between, like, the, the Andrew sister sounding stuff, I didn't find myself as int into. Um, it almost feels like this is, like, a, a muscle memory song, at least in my opinion. Like, the way I was taking it is, like, you gotta do this. This is part of, like, life. I feel like it's almost like her body telling her, like, going through this divorce, like, hey, it's okay, you're gonna have to cry your heart out. That's part of the machine. Um, so I think I just need a little more time with it. Um, it'll get me. I feel like it will, but I'm just not completely sold on it just quite yet. Now track, I forgot this title too when I saw the track list. Uh, track number five is called Oh My God. Um, oh my God. So let's, let's listen to Oh My God. Oh my God. Whoa. Okay, Oh My God. Okay. I love the vocals here. Okay. 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 Break it down. Break it down. Yes. Church hands, everybody. Now, uh, okay, before I say anything, I want to say, as we all know, I do believe that the next single is supposed to be I Drink Wine, but I, for some reason, feel like this is going to get a single release. And that's kind of also what I wanted to do when I was looking through this album. I'm like, what do I think are going to be the singles? Um, this has got to be a single. I do know it's going to piss off a lot of the church people because they'll be like, you're saying, oh my God, you're taking the Lord's name in vain. Weirdly enough, when I was doing my shared discography journey, there was this, I don't know who it was, but they kept commenting on my videos and they were like, Sal, don't say, oh my God, don't say the Lord's name in vain. And I was like, oh my God, shut up. Um, <laughs> um, so this one I'm wondering, I'm wondering what the situation is about because uh, th this lyric is interesting to me right here where she's like, I'm a fool and they think I'm blind. I'd rather be a fool than leave myself behind. Fair enough. Um, but it's like right here in the chorus. What's the likelihood of jumping out of my life and into your arms? Maybe, baby, I'm just losing my mind because this is trouble, but it feels right. Teetering on the edge of heaven and hell is a battle I cannot fight. So the way I was taking this, I'm like, is she talking about like when her and her ex-husband were on the like the little bit of the rocks, but she was still like not doing the do, but like still, you know, make, trying to make it work. Like, was that the, the teetering on the edge of heaven and hell? Not too sure there, but I did like this. I loved the churchiness breakdown of it. I thought it was a blast. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. I really did. So, oh my God, I can't believe it. But I think uh, it might be my second favorite song so far after My Little Love. So, and I hope, I'm hoping for a single release for this one. I think it'd be great. Track number six, Can I Get It? What can you get it out? Okay, that's very rolling in the deep ish right there. Okay. Oh. Mm. Okay. 
Okay. Ah. I like the part in her voice. You can get it, Adele. Get it, Adele. Up. That's fun. I like that. You can get it at L. Yes, you can get it. Yeah. Okay. That whistling, I love it. I can't whistle, in case you couldn't tell. Oh. Mm. Okay, get it, Adele. Okay. Yes, Adele, you can come and get it. I don't know what you want to get from me, but you, you got it. You got my money already, especially with the vinyl and the CD release. Um... Wow, I actually really like this one too. Again, I'm going to be here for a single release. I could see it. I could hear it on the radio. I would like it. Um, I like the little bit of sexual energy that's also in this too. Um, so can I get it? You know, where she's, she's kind of break, letting her voice break a little. So can I get it right now? Mm, can I get it right now? Can I get it? Um, you tease me with your control, but because I long to live under your spell and without your love, I'm hollow. I won't make it. I won't make it my own. And they they repeat water in this. I think we was able to bring up the lyrics. Somebody already put them up on Genius Lyrics. But um, I promise that I will love you to the end of time. Through it all, the good, the bad, the ugly, and the divine. I will be the melody, the rhythm, your rhyme. So all I want from you is to be mine. You know, I, I hope, you know, I hope, you know, I guess you could take it that way. It, the So this so can I get it? It doesn't necessarily have to be sexual. That's how I took it. Um, But, you know, it's hard to tell because, like, again, divorce, baby, divorce. And I don't want to put this album into a box and think that every song has to be about that. Um, But it could be about her baby and her just sharing her love. It could be about her husband pre-divorce. It's hard to say. Um, I'm not really getting that vibe from this one for either of those two two ideas. Um. But it could be, you never know. It's Adele, it's her music, so who am I, what am I to say? But um, I thought this was fun too, and I'm here for a single release for it. Track number six, a song I'm sure many people can relate to. Uh, I can, I, I'm not a big wine drinker, but um, I have, I have, I have drunk the wine before. Um, but this is track number seven, I Drink Wine. And this is another long in. It's six minutes and 16 seconds. Um, and this is going to be our second single. I wonder if it's going to be edited for the radio, because again, it's six minutes. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see if there's a radio edit. Person we don't even like. Okay. I like where she's headed. I do. I like that. Okay. I love her low notes. Oh. Whoa, whoa, I love, I love how she said climbing. I want to hear that again. I loved it. It sounds like she's climbing. I love that. I love it.
only. Okay, that was I Drink Wine. And I have to say, this one I feel a little mixed on towards two. Um, the Six Minute Magic didn't work as much for me as it did on My Little Love. This one I did feel like I was like, this could have been a tad bit shorter. Not that I feel like I was bored, you know, throughout most of it, but I was just kind of like, uh, this one, I don't know, I felt like I kind of, I was getting the points. I do like what she's saying though. Um, but like how they went into this relationship, putting ideas in our heads that corrupt our hearts somehow. When I was a child, everything could blow my mind. She was still a child. Um, soaking up it all for fun, but now I only soak up wine. It does feel a little bit like she's had a little wine and she's almost like kind of like spilling out her guts at the moment. Uh, which to be fair, everybody's been there. I, my favorite part though was probably the outro because I, I, this ending line really did get to me. Um, uh, it's just, wait, wait, I want to read this right. I didn't get to go on and make new memories with him. There were just memories in a big storm. So it's like, even the good memories that they have are kind of surrounded by this cloud of like all the badness that was happening around them. Um, so I'm still, you know, not completely too sold on this one. Uh, I'm not going to put a light next to it. So it is technically my second least favorite of the album so far. Um, but there are parts of it I like, and I think it just might take, you know, more times for it to... I'll be interested to hear the radio edit. When this gets released as a single, I'll be curious to see what this radio edit will look like. Um, uh, and then we'll see from there. Okay, track number eight into track number nine, we have an interlude into a regular track. When, on this channel, we always do them as one. So this is track number eight, All Night Parking with Errol Gardner. Um, it's with a guy named Errol Gardner. Um, uh, that's the interlude, and then it goes into a song called Woman Like Me. So let's hear it. I just want to spend all my time with you. I'm so hard to impress. Don't leave me on this stretch alone. When I'm out at a party, I'm just excited to get home. You got through to me. track number eight and track number nine all night parking with errol gardner into woman like me um so with all night parking the interlude i thought it was fine um it, it's just basically uh like the line she says like when she's at the party she's excited to get home and dream about you all night long um I, it's just about i don't know the interlude didn't do as much for me as i think i would have liked it to this i view dramatic at one minute i pay you say less than hours because you're pet. yeah i mean that it's fine um it's just her talking about you know having a little doing a little do all night long so that's fine um but this song what it transitioned to is quite different woman like me this is the first and, and to me at least real song in the album where adele is like going in on her ex-husband um which who what's his name um adele ex clue who this man is let's see what he looks like oh uh well she can do a lot better than him that's for sure his name's simon simon konecki um they're only married 2018 2020 oh my goodness so short um but or is that her current husband 
Um, oh no, no, this is her ex. Does she have a, does she have, wait, does she have a new man in her life too? I don't know. I don't know her life like that. That's, that's her, um, thing that mine. But, um, she's going in on him. She's like, uh, basically, all you ever do is complain about decisions you make. Um, oh wait, no, I scrolled down. Ah, um, how can I lift you if you refuse to activate your life? Each, I mean, he just seems like a, uh, not a man moving forward. He's just staying, I mean, that's the thing right here. It says complacency is the worst trait you have. Are you crazy? You ain't never had a woman like me. Um, no. He, how do you, how do you have Adele and screw that up? Um, I liked this. It was very, um, on the point. Um, very somber, very forward, very, um, true. I mean, what else can we say? Track number 10, hold on. To what? Okay. <laughs> hold. Yes, it will, Adele. It will come. That's right. Hold on. Yes. Yes. Uh, what I loved most about this song is just how it evolved. It starts off so, um, how do you even put this? So small. So, like, just in your head. And then it just erupts into, like, this celebration of just self-care, if you will. Um, hold on, take care of yourself, just be patient. Um, what's interesting is that she could be talking to herself in this song, which I do believe is what's going on here, but it also works very well as her talking to other people, her talking to her son, her talking to her fans. Um, just be patient, let pain be gracious, because pain's gotta come. Um, just hold on. Um, I swear to God, I'm so... Uh, okay, so she is really more talking to herself. The harder I try, I regress. I'm my own worst enemy right now. I truly be hating me. Every day feels like the road I'm on might just open up and swallow me whole. Um, how do I feel so many small when I'm struggling to feel at all? I mean, but you gotta hold on. I liked this. And, you know, I could see it as a single as well, too. Um, again, I would imagine a radio edit at six minutes and six seconds, but I really did like this one a lot. Track number 11, To Be Loved. I oh, like the video, like the, the video. What was that? Ain't it funny how the mighty fall? 
Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. Okay. What I, again, much like Hold On, what I loved about how this song is how it started off like so calm, like so like small, and then just erupted into like this giant song. The one comparison I would like to make is that this feels like a less experimental version, at least of some of like that. Weirdly enough, I don't know why it reminds me of this, but I guess because it's just as emotional of My Little Love. I feel like these two songs complement each other like very much so. Um, one of the things that really gets me about this is just how amazing Adele sounds as the song goes on. I mean, just incredible. And then when it goes like full out 90s bridge to chorus ending, um, it's amazing. You know, one of the things that I remember seeing like when Easy On Me was released is that people were like, why is Adele so popular when she comes out, blah, 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 like all these things. And the one thing that I've always really compared to with Adele, at least what she reminds me of, she's the closest thing we have into the music industry today. Of, not to say that these ladies still aren't there because they are, but due to ageism, the people of today don't want to listen to them and their new music. But to me, Adele is the closest thing we have, at least in the ladies in music today. Um that is the sim most similar to a Celine, Mariah, or a Whitney. Um, you know, Celine in terms of like a, the Mariah and strong vocals um, and Whitney too with that. Um, but also in a sense like Mariah because she writes her own material. Um, it it's the closest thing that we have, to, at least in a modern sense to me, of someone who is popular and like them. Um, this was just beautiful. I cannot wait to see her sing this live one day. Um, it was just gorgeous. She sounded incredible. It sounded so real, so raw. Um, it's like kind of like the final, like, say, it's like her final goodbye to her, her divorce, to her man. Like, I tried. I did everything I could. And it's done. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Track number 12, a final track of this album, which is Love is a Game, which I love that title because it is. Let's do, oh, no. No restart. No, 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 no. Love is a Game. Here we go. Okay. All your expectations moved. It's so sad how incapable of learning to grow. I have cried. I can't take another defeat. Those children. I <laughs> fool it. What a cool thing. Yes. Okay, that was the final track, Love is a Game. And I did like this one, um, but this is one of the other ones that I'm going to say. The six minutes, the almost seven minute running time for this one did show to me just a little bit. Um, I think when it, you get towards the end of the album, you're like, okay, let's, let's kind of wrap this up a little bit. Um, I like how vintage this song feels. 
Um, and again, I do like how it starts off really small and then erupts into like this big, well, it's not, this is not a celebration, that's for sure. Um, but I do like this ending lyric where she says, I can love, I can love again. I love me for now. I like, I, I love me now like I loved him. And you know what? That's good. So, you know, while it won't, I don't think it'll go down as one of my favorites, it gets a like for that ending lyric because that's beautiful. Okay, guys, we just finished listening to Adele's fourth studio album, 30. And uh, as you know, one of the first Adele albums I've listened to, it does make me very curious to go through and listen to the, the rest of her songs from her discography. Um, I found this album actually a little different than how I expected it to be. I really thought it was going to be a tearjerker. Um, but it didn't come off across to me like that in that regard. Um, I found it a lot more um, definitely reflective, but content. Like, it do like because I think, you know, at the time she's releasing this, she's in a much better place. So it doesn't feel like uh, like, not a, not a mess in terms of, like, you know, like, it's a mess, it's horrible, but, like, mess, like, oh my gosh, there's just so much going on. Um, it feels like a very, uh, like I said, reflective and content. Like, we're still looking back at these things, but I'm okay now. Like, I'm good. This is just a glimpse as to how um, I was in some parts of the past few years. Um, it could have been, it was a very, like I said, that's the best way to describe it. I did not, like, I really thought that, like, my tagline for this was really going to be, like, I'm going to cry my heart out, but I didn't really feel like that. I felt like I did reflect on some things, but I'm okay. And I think you guys are okay, too. Um, I think my two favorite tracks, I mean, obviously, we love Easy on Me. That's just a beautiful song. My favorites, though, of the ones I didn't know were probably, um, or the new ones, My Little Love, Oh My God, Can I Get It?, and Woman Like Me. I put likes next to Hold On, To Be Loved, and Love Is A Game. Um, those three at the end, they're they're like the big longings of this album. Um, so they're interesting. My least favorite tracks were um, Cry Your Heart Out, uh, I Drink Wine, and All Night Parking, which is just an interlude, so it doesn't matter. That one, you know, isn't that big of a thing. But I'm, I'm, I have a feeling um, my two least favorites might be controversial, because they my least favorites always seem to be that. So I'm a little nervous for that, but we'll see, you know, when this video airs and whatnot. Um, but all in all, I found it very interesting. Um, I liked it. I don't think it's ever going to go down as, like, one of my favorites, you know, favorite albums I've ever listened to. I feel like with this reaction, there were, like, especially in, like, these last few songs, there wasn't much prime stuff for me to react to. Um, but that's okay. You know, we, we gotta do what we gotta do. But, um, I enjoyed it. I had a nice time. Welcome back, Adele. I'll be curious to see what the next singles will be after I drink wine. Uh, especially because that one wasn't one of my favorites, but I will be interested to hear that radio edit. Um... But we'll have to see. It's going to be interesting because I don't feel on like 25 we have like a strong um, like when we were young or water under the bridge. I'm not hearing that here. So I'll be curious to see what they pick. You know what I mean? Because you're always like, that's the single? You know, you never know. So um, what did you guys think of Adele's new album, 30? Let me know in the comments below. As always, do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at Salvador J. Rocha, Twitter at Sal Sestif, and TikTok at Sal Rocha 1. And I'll see you guys ever so soon. Have an amazing day. Um, bye. <laughs>